So when I clean my lofts, you know, I put some of that bird poop uh, in the area where my banana plants are located. Usually I throw them in the garden, but sometimes I throw it around my banana plants and I got some of these wheat, you know, that grow up in the spring and summertime. So I just pull them out, see? And what I do is uh, I go and, oh, by the way, here's a, uh, some of my uh, cucumbers that I'm growing in pots and you can see some of the bags that you call them grow bags or something are uh, from my pellets from the pellets you know you can see them there's a whole bunch of them over here but these are the this is what I feed these pellets. I feed them like once a week or something, or sometimes twice a month. Uh, they don't really care for it, but they do eat it. Game bird pellets, there's some okra and all in it. Anyway, I use these as a grow bags for my vegetables. Okra, cucumber. Anyway, the birds are getting excited because I'm gonna throw this uh, in here. They come and munch on it. Now after they finish munching on them, because I pretty much do this every day, and you can see that everywhere, like just from yesterday, you know, they clean they clean it up really good. If you take a look, that's that say. Too close. Yeah, there you go. Empty, empty one. How they clean it up, you know? So, just for comparison, this is a fresh stock, and put it right next to it. Look, that is a, how they clean it up. So they do a pretty good job. Anyway, so let's go inside the loft. Dirty needs some cleaning as usual. You can see like how they use this like perfect example over here. Look at that. I gave them a nesting area over there. The phantom didn't care for it. They made their own nest using those. But you can see some of these wheat stalks. It's a beautiful Indian phantom baby over there. It's a deer boy. You got some other Indian phantom babies over there. Some ball of roller babies. over there. Some saddles, saddles, yellow saddles feeding the baby. There's some babies gonna let me go. One of the ballers. Roll a baby over there. They just can't tell them babies. These guys are sitting on eggs. Some roller babies. Roller babies. Uh, Another roller baby over there, all is sitting on eggs. There we go, that's sitting on eggs. Fantail with their babies. That's a kite baby over there. Roller baby, roller baby. <coughs> that is not from that pair. I foster that baby for them because their baby died, so I put this baby underneath them. There's a monkey sitting over there. And there's a roller sitting over there. Look, look, look at their nest. Same thing. They make this out of these stalks. Look at that guy over there. The baby's over there. So, okay. you can't chill with the baby over there. Look, look, look at the perfect example. Look, what is she doing over there? She's jumping and trying to take that in to that one when they already have enough in there, but hey, whatever makes them happy, right? So, some powders over here, blue reverse wings, nice. Tail mark baby over the Indian Santa. So look, they're doing a pretty good job over here. So anyway. So so I cut some of them as a whole bunch of them. I just 
take some of these to the other lofts and see what they want to do. Melina over there. Hey, Melina, how are you? Hey, 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 hey. Put it in this loft over here to see how these guys do. What happens over here? Welcome to you there, everybody. Let me come back to this loft. Oh, by the way, I'll give you some. Uh, see this? This is a new uh, bench. The old one was over there. You see that? That died on me. So, put this new bench over here. It's out of a, you know, lumber from leftover project that is a part of a fence. And these are some posts. So I try to use reuse stuff as much as I can. So it's a nice sturdy bench for them to relax and mate. And if you look on the top, look at all my grapes. There's lots of look on the grapes. Got a whole bunch of anyway, these guys are munching on it. See whether we can oh yeah, they got mad. There's a better better look on the grapes. All oh, grapes and I think they're getting stuck on this wire so they cannot really grow that much but I usually manage to get decent amount of grapes a lot of young birds I raised a lot of black homers this year so let's go in here and see what's going on same thing over here too look Look at the nest I made. Look at all of the nest I made. It's all out of those wheat stalks. The ball is Homer baby over there. So worsen powder baby. Look at all of the nest over there. Got a guy over there, dewlap with the same nest, same kind of nest material for their nest. Indian fantas over there. That's the Homer baby on the ground. Put that baby back a little bit too young. Go back over there. Uh, maybe you can see there's two babies, two babies over there. And these guys are making some nest over there. Yeah, some blue bar homer over there. There's a black homer over here with sitting on eggs. And I believe there's a nest over there. A can of powder is a pair of stupor homers over there. These guys are two uh, babies, that's a dumb reversing baby over there. So, Alright, let's see what they're doing over here. And the nice crested homers from this year. White light. So let's let them off the hook. Let's try some of that. The All the grape wine. You get a lot of grapes. Actually, they get a lot of grapes from this side because they're not touching the uh, touching the wire. And I don't know, guys, if anybody can comment and help me with these. Let's see how they get all blackish and all in color over there. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I got a problem with these grapes where they just some of those baby grapes turn all black and fall off. So. Anybody has any idea? Let me know. Look at look at that roller over here. There's a small hole in my fry pan, and that roller finds a way to get out. And it will find a way to get back in too. I, I won't catch the bottom. They would come back on his own. So let's throw it in here and see how they do it. Contrast 
between Andalusian and Almond. But Voice Council. Thing. Like, look at the two roller babies, okay? That's why I tell you sometimes I move the baby around. I was not able to move them around. See, one became huge and the other one is small. So, if I had some babies to move around, I would have done it, but I didn't have no, no other of the same size. So, like, if I had the same, another clutch with the same size babies, I would put the bigger one, take the bigger one from the other clutch and put it over here, and take the smaller one from this clutch and put it out along with the other set of babies. So they're evenly, even sized and they get, you know, the same amount of food. Because now this guy would fight to get majority of the food and this guy gets very little food. So I try to hand feed the small babies like that whenever I have the chance. Some Homer babies, a nice Homer over there looking to lay eggs. That's a crested Homer pair. The hen is a crested one. The cock will carry crested both the saddles. Pair of nice pair of monkeys over there. What's that? That is a red frost cancel baby over there. Look at that. Chinese owl look in the nest, just made it to the roller cock. The Chinese owl hen. I'm not in the Chinese owl, I happen to get a hen and for the heck of it, I take it. There's a mookie sitting over there. I'm gonna use this as a feeder. Might get rid of the hen soon because I'm not in the Chinese owl. There are first chance of babies over here. Lebanon sitting on eggs. Roller sitting on eggs. There's a first chance of mom came. Some two almond homer babies, two full strands of homer babies. Uh, some there's some mookie sitting over there on the eggs. There are almond homers over there on that eggs. Some almond homer sitting on eggs. Close pencil over there with the baby. Look at this guys. They found another nest over here same way. That's a indigo homer baby. There's another look you gotta pay attention. Maybe it fell off with the baby back. Two homer babies, a saddle one and a silver check. An almond homer baby. There's a one frost stencil baby over here. So done. Done for stencil. You can see it's like almost like it looks like a toy stencil one. Dilute toy stencil one just having the bronze. So this is a dilute toy stencil one. I would call this a dilute toy stencil. Because I believe Fro stencil is a combination of toy stencil one, um, TS2 and one more thing that I, I forgot. <laughs> what is the third one? Uh, that's what frost stencils are. But this one looks like a toy stencil one. It's a dilute toy stencil one. And this is a, this is a Palmer baby. Uh, sorry, roller baby that I put along with the same size. It's gonna be a nice stipper. On the crossbow too. Got two crested saddle Homer babies over there. Here we go, we have a faded cockboard over here. He's made it to a uh, black open laced hen. They got eggs. Some bird laid an uh, egg over there. I don't know who it is, so. We got a roller baby over here. It's a ballless, but I think it's a ballless opal. Ballless opal, yep. Yeah. Former hen sitting on eggs. These guys are trying to drive the hen to lay eggs. Anyway, let's see how the 
a, this is a kind of an example of a, it's a dilute toy stencil. I'll call it TS1. But then that baby that I just showed right now is going to turn out like that bird after all. I like the color. I think that's a good color to make with almonds too. I've ra I made a that bird to almond and, and raise some nice almonds on it. If these guys are made it up. Then he's driving the hen is the almond cockpit with a done hen. Let's see what happens. So they're, 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 they're ripping it up pretty good. Try to put some bath water for them. It's not that cold or hot today. Usually it's super hot. It's a Crestor Saddle Homer hen with the cockpit that carries the Crested Gene. There's one recessive red wolfies over here. There's another recessive red over here. Look at the powder. Powders go at it too. Look, they, they clean it up pretty good. Beautiful animals and animals. Even mookies, all these small birds become born it too. They love it. Something about like taking out of the whole thing and getting that grain. Even though our feet <laughs> feed them wheat, they still enjoy this just like a treat for them. But, uh, that is a beautiful bristle dilute full stencil baby oh that's going to be a hand that's going to be a nice hand it's going to look really good after the mold yeah i need to cut this I cannot cut it because the tree is growing in between both of my logs. I gotta cut all, chop all those branches off. Beautiful Lebanon cockpit over here. I like the black white bars. You know what? I'll show you one more thing. Just since we're talking about that dilute pro stencil, no toy stencil TS1. Look at that. That's what these guys try to do, man. I give them as much green as they want, but they will still try to peck on these uh, cucumber leaves. But it's all fun. Cucumber will have plenty of leaves. So here's a. You take the dilute out of the TS1 and just the TS1. So this is, this is the TS1 bronze. Right, the bird is there. It's a young bird. It's a squeaker. It's like a roomy. And that fellow. There it is. So. Reverse things out of there. Nice. Uh, Open lace forehead youngster. Young Mookie baby over there. So, there you go. This is what I'm talking about. This is a TS1 without the dilute gene. We saw the other TS1, the baby over there, it was a dark one. So, it's the dilute. So, this is the TS1. TS1 post on the one who I just want to find that out. You see this tree? I got a the itty bitty tree. Now it grew up pretty big. Of course, it's gonna grow fast because it's having all this pigeon manure. Gonna chop all that branches off. 
But uh, look, they cleaned it all up. I just put it in like this is the first one that I did, and I don't think uh, there's anything left. They cleaned it all up. Not much left. So they enjoy eating this. A lot of young birds over here. I don't know if you guys want to see a glimpse of my garden. This is my garden. So all these are green beans, young green beans, okra plants. All okra plants. I'm big on okra. I love okra. So look at that. We got an okra, okra falling down over here. We want to re, replant that one. Some green beans over here, all in a row. Some tomato plants. These green beans already started getting some beans. What I do, I mean, like, I don't use any manure. I just use, uh, the, you know, I dump all my pigeon droppings over here during the winter time and I till them up in the summertime before I plant them. And uh, I water them uh, like every other day I give my birds bath water. So I collect that bath water and use a small mug and water each plant because I don't want to use a hose and water it because it would bring more grass out. Look, you can already see grass is trying to grow. So yeah, there was some uh, watermelon that is growing over here. I think I might have accidentally spilled some seeds. I didn't mean to. I don't have much luck with the watermelon. These are some pepper plants, real spicy. Uh, your eggplant, majority green beans, some tomato plants. The tomato plants have got some small tomatoes on them. All these are some pigeon the manure, and I burn some wood, and you know I put a all the all ashes on the bottom too, and also all my coffee, uh, you know. Oh, when I'm done making the coffee, or the coffee powder grind, I'll drop it on eggshells too. So try to keep it all like, you know, simple, efficient, cheap, natural. But uh, I water them every other day. They gain the bath water from the birds as well as I might need to get some extra water because that won't be enough to feed uh, water all these plants. But hey, uh, you can see that's about it. I guess uh, a pair of black Indian fantails over here that I'm trying to pick up. Let's <clears throat> we'll check on here to see whether they have finished them all. They're almost done in here. There's a Melina resting. Hey, Melina.